Hello everybody, so today I will talk about calculus. The topic today is the integral. We have the integral of dx over the square root 9 plus 4x to the power of 2. So I will show the technique how to answer the question. We need to use about integration by trigonometric substitution. So, we need to change x equals to um, 3 over 2, and we move about 10 t. So, we will go about the x equals to 3 over 2 dt over cosine t squared. Now, we need to change this integral. x squared, we change to 9 over 4 10 t squared the x we change for this one now we need to simplify 4 multiply with 9 over 4 you got about 9 and uh, we would square root of 9 outside and you got about 1 over 3 We have the formula 1 plus 10 t squared equals to 1 over cosine t squared. We need to turn this one into this one. The square root of 1 over cosine this way you will go about 1 over cosine t cosine t square simplify with cosine t now you will go about 3 over 2 multiply with dt over cosine t 3 and 3 in here we simplify and we go about 1 over 2 Later that, we multiply both sides in cos t and cos t in here. We have the formula. Cos t squared plus sin t squared equals to number 1. So, cos t squared equals to 1 minus sin t squared. Now, we apply this formula. Now, we can use about integration by substitution. We have z equal to psi t dz equal to cos t dt so psi t squared we change to z to the power of 2 cos t dt we change to dz One minus z to the power of two, we can put one minus z multiply with one plus z. In here we have the z we put in here. So we we put about one minus z plus one plus z. Because we have 1 plus 1 in here, so it means we have another number 2. So, z, negative z plus positive z, they will eliminate together. 1 minus z, 
divide 1 minus z, you will go about 1 over 1 plus z. 1 plus z simplify with 1 plus z, you will go about 1 over 1 minus z. Now, the integral of 1 over 1 plus z, you will go about logarithmic e of absolute value of 1 plus z. We have negative 1 over 4 because we have the negative net to the z. So we go about logarithmic by e of absolute value of 1 minus z. And we have the constant. Now we change z back to psi t. And t we convert back to s. And in this one, you will go about t equals to r times to s over 3. We put 3 over 2 on the left. That's why you got about 2 over 3 multiplied with s. And here is about the final answer. That's it, the end. Thank you for watching.